everybody, it's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I asked you all if you wanted to see a campus safety video and a ton of you replied and said that you would be interested in seeing it, so I figured I would do it. The topics I'm going to be covering in this video are simply just safety and my personal advice. Some of the things said in this video may trigger you or scare you and please know that is not my intention. My intention is to just get the point of cross of safety and that things can happen on college campuses and that things do happen on college campuses. When I say things happen on college campuses, I am talking about rapes, kidnappings, fights, and that kind of stuff. So the main point of this video is to just raise your awareness about safety and how to stay safe on campus. So to start off with, my first piece of advice for you all is to know where things are on your campus. What I mean by this is know where the security building is, know the emergency exits of the buildings you are going to be in, and just general things like that. Go to your campus before you actually start school and walk around and see where things are. That way, if you're ever in a situation where you need to get out from where you are and need some place to go, you will know safe places where you can go. My second piece of advice is to never walk to class alone, if at all possible. Try to find a friend who can walk with you, or even if there's a group of people up ahead of you, walk with them. Things are more likely to happen to you if you are walking alone rather than if you are walking with other people. You don't even need to know the people you are walking with, but if you just group with them, the chances of something happening to you are less likely. Another thing to look into is security escorts. I know that at my school we can get a security escort and all we have to do is call a phone number, tell them where we are and they will come walk us to our next class. They were also there to walk you to your car or anything like that. So if you are ever in a situation where you don't feel safe enough to walk by yourself to a classroom, to your car, to your dorm, or anything like that on campus, contact your security office and see if you can get a security escort. Also, getting a security escort isn't something to be embarrassed about. I've done it so many different times. Another tip I have is to buy things that will make you feel safe and that you can use in your defense if something were to happen. For me, I have three different things I'm going to be talking about. I do not carry all of them around with me. I only carry one and that is this, which is just a sound grenade and I will go into more about this later. The first thing I started off with as a freshman in college was carrying around pepper spray. I will have links to all these products listed down below in case you're interested in them. Like I said, this is just the pepper spray and all you do is you uncap it. Then you would flip this with your thumb so it is over here in the groove and press down. Pepper spray is definitely something you can carry around with you whenever. And then for my sophomore and junior year of college, I kind of stepped up my safety game and I got a taser. It was just something that I could carry around in my bag and know that I had. Also, I did take night classes during my sophomore year, so that's another reason why I did get this. This is just from Amazon. Again, I will have a link to it down below. This is the Small Fry 8 million stun gun. With something like this, it is really important to go outside and just see how it works so you are familiar with it. When I did this, I did this with a firefighter, and this thing scared the ever-living crap out of me. However, it is something that I am happy I know how to use, and if I was ever in a situation where I have to use it, I will know how to use it. If you are in a situation where you think you would need this if you were walking alone and wanting to feel safe, all you would do is put the strap around your wrist and put the pin right here. A really cool safety feature about this taser is that if the pin is out, you cannot use it. That means if something happens to you and the other person takes this from you and tries to use it on you, they will not be able to. So this is the on off switch. If the red light's on, it means it is active. And what's really cool is that this is rechargeable and it just uses a wall plug. If you see this little black button thingy right here, all you do is you push it down and forward and then it gets the prongs and all you do is you plug this into a normal outlet on the wall. And then the last item I'm going to be talking about is one that I featured in my August favorites and it's just this small navy blue sound grenade from a website called Robocop. Again, I will have this listed down below as well. I honestly think that anyone going off to college or anyone who has to walk places alone, like even if you're at the mall or an airport, I highly recommend having one of these. And I do want to point out that this is permitted on airplanes, so if you bring this with you, you will be able to keep it with you. They will not confiscate it. Ever since the day I got this, this is what I keep on my backpack, and I keep it on the loop near the strap right here. That way, if I'm ever in a situation, I can quickly just pull it and the alarm will sound. If for some reason you were in a situation and didn't feel safe, all you do is pull off the pin end and a really loud alarm will sound. This is a warning to all headphone users that I am going to quickly show you what this sounds like. 
And as you guys saw, all I did was pull out the corner of the pin. So even if you guys are fumbling and can't pull out the pin completely, it will still sound as long as you pull at least one corner out, which is something I really like about this. I just think it's a really good idea for general safety and you can use it wherever you are if you don't feel safe. So those are just my personal words of advice for you guys for campus safety. Again, I will have all the items featured in this video listed in the description box in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of them. If you guys would like me to do like a general safety video, I can also do that. So be sure to let me know. I can show you guys how to escape from zip ties, how to escape from duct tape, what to do if you are kidnapped and stuff like that. I know these things can be scary topics to talk about, but I do think they are things that should be talked about so you know what to do if you are ever in a situation. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every Tuesday and Saturday when I upload new videos. If you guys would like to keep up with me off camera, be sure to go over and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both of which are just Alexa's underscore underscore life. I post pictures of food, things I'm doing, and stuff like that. Another really good way to keep up with me is to follow me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is just alexas.life, and again, I post pictures of food, things I'm doing, and stuff like that. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!